Good morning, good morning, good morning, you lovely lot. It is Saturday morning. It is, I think, just gone nine o'clock. Um, and we are going to head off just a little bit down the road because Lee, who is, we call Mechanic Lee, who is a friend of Dan and Keith's, who Keith works with, who has the channel UK Van Life Project, Project Van Life Project UK, I believe, um, is going to redirect my fuel tank for my diesel heater, which Donny was going to do, but couldn't do because we didn't have enough pipe. Well, uh, Lee's already done it to his van and he has enough pipe. So that's the first job of today. And then the second job of today will be all of us going off to find somewhere really nice for a tea and cake, probably. We are trying to solve the mystery of, I'm knocking my tea over, why this dark muck has come back on my van only, what, two weeks after putting the new stuff up in exactly the same places. We just have no idea what's causing it. And here as well. And here. I've got a Keith on fan duty. He's always been a fan of yours. Oh, you're a fan of mine, thanks. <laughs> and I've got a Lee at the front of the van. And I have fondly called them all my pit crew. Thanks, pit crew. I'm on blue duty. That's a very important duty for pit crew. He's just standing there looking actually. handsome. That's your job, Lee, all right? Yeah, personally. I've just noticed a small mistake that Donnie and I made. Uh, during the van build. It's not a huge mistake and it can be rectified but it does mean we can't prime the diesel heater right now and that should have gone through the floor back into the pump um, and it's not, it's here. We are going to see if we can find where the hole is and so that I can uh, cut it. I'm not really sure where it's coming up. Oh, here around here maybe okay hi oh your walls coming up or going down shall I send a wire down Oh, okay. Right, so how does this work? This works by taking the fuel from the return line, which is non-pressurised, but gives you enough fuel to actually drive the heater without draining the tank. Because the return pipe goes about three quarters of the way down the tank. So you guarantee you're never going to actually drain it by running the heater. Which is um, important. Because it's non-pressurised, it's, non it's not like it's going to overload the heater either. It's literally just the run back from the injectors going back to the tank. Um, if there's any issue with that side of it sort of being emptied by the heater, the injectors will just fill it straight up again afterwards anyway. So, and so the return line, it's literally just there just to take any excess fuel from the injectors back to the tank. But it's ideal for actually tapping to actually bring the, uh, the fuel up to the heater. Very, very handy little... Uh, device as well for clipping on to the uh, return line. So it all clips on, you don't have to mess around with cutting no and... Cutting pipes or anything like that. Plug and go. Excellent. And I don't have to have a fuel tank in my van anymore. No, less chance of spillage and horrible smells of diesel everywhere. Yeah, and I can use the space for more important things like a sink. These dogs have hidden talents. They can maypole dance. Well done, dogs. Very impressive. Ready. Why did it do that? Why did it do that? There Why is my van not working? There it is. Where's me pump thing? I'm not worried. You can see a fuel coming down the line. Oh, it's filling up, I see. 
done still. We finished the job, but I have a complaint to make. I don't know if you can see, there's quite a lot of muck on my boobs. Who is responsible? I've lined up the culprits. I'm hoping it's that one on the end. Otherwise there's questions to ask. Hands? Not guilty. Hands? Not me. It could be you. <laughs> can I see your hands? Not me. I think you need to deal with somebody. <laughs> Spog is hanging out with his friends. Amble's just being parked up. Lee's van's over there, the yellow bit sticking out. And we're going for lunch. That, they're pomegranate seeds. It's all looking very tasty. We're going for a stroll now to walk off our lovely lunch, but we've made it a mission to find more plaques or to find any plaques that show that the building back in the day was insured to have fires put out. Was it insured by the fire people? Or is it insured and the fire people would only put out the fires? What am I asking I you? They would only put out the fires that had the applicable flak, flak, plaque. Plaque on. So yes. they'd paid an insurance. But who did they pay the insurance to? Was it the um, fire or was it some... I presume it was an insurance company. Who oh, okay. were tied then to that particular to the... firefighting. Keith, Keith knows. That is a very nice knocker. The lead on the window has got all bent up. There's a really old in the wall post box there. I'm wondering if that means this was a post office at some point, this building. So GR would have stood for George, wouldn't it? So that could date it. There we go. I found my first one. It's above this old bookshop or whatever is next to the old bookshop. And that is an insurance symbol to say that the building was insured against fire. I've just noticed this blue plaque. This is where the sergeant surgeon and personal physician to Joseph Merrick was his name, the elephant man, lived in this house. I did not know that. How cool is that? It's got some interesting uh, shapes on that wall. Do you think there was more windows or something in it? I don't know, just some interesting brickwork or stonework. This building does look very stationy, although it says it's called the coach house. It's now a dental practice. But you can see what I saw in that other building with the stone, that's, I think there must have been windows in that other house because that looks very similar. I'm gonna go down to the train station. Choo choo, choo 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 You choo choo choose me, do you? I bet there are Pokemon here. I bet you anything. I do like a good buffet. Yeah, fancy some chewing gum? Got a penny? penny. Or get, you can get two, three piece packets for that. Is this a technical knock? Get it working again. On behalf of the committee. I shall have this job as the wheel tapper. Tap the lower part of each wheel. It rings like a bell, that one's safe. No, that's more dull, which means it's not safe. It has a fault, which we can see here. 
Is that a limestone quarry, do you think? I'd imagine it will be round here. Yeah, it's usually limestone, isn't it? Why we drove in down. Right. So what we're saying, a modern, a modern stone circle. Modern day stone circle. Mapping out stars. Maps out the stars. And all of those lights around there have different colours, don't they? They do. They have different music festivals and events on here. And... Oh, do they? Mm. And so that's where you can go and have a dance on it. Twelve yeah. stones. Twelve stones for the month. Yeah. Is that the sun in the centre? No, Polaris. It's a, it's a map oh. of the sky. Oh, okay. And the, the brown bit running through it is the Milky Way. The brown bit? I just thought that was a stain. <laughs> I hadn't realised it was functional. We are now all stood in our respective star sign spots. You're on Cancer. I am on Cancer and Lee would be my polar opposite over there. Look, because if he was not in the van, he would be just there. And Lee, Lee. My, yeah, the imaginary Lee. Your Lee is opposite my directly Gemini's. opposite you. You two are not polar opposites. Hmm. That's, well, I, don't, I can understand the polar opposites with me and Lee because we like very different things. How strange. We've also got very different temperaments which are reflected in our star signs as well. I'm very dreamy. Are you very dreamy? Yeah, very dreamy. Is that what Aquarius means? I'm Pisces. Pisces, sorry, Pisces. Sorry, God, he yeah. took that really personally, didn't he? <laughs> I'm not an Aquarius. <laughs> All right, Kenzie's an Aquarius, Brendan's a Pisces. I can see Brendan being a Pisces. Yeah. Mm. You happy over there with your star sign? Yeah. Are you typical of your star sign? I don't know. The Archer. Yeah, but do you know anything about what it's meant to represent as you? See, no. Cancer's meant to be very caring, goes into caring professions. Yeah. Sensitive. Yeah. I would say that's me. I'm a big baby. <laughs> What's yours? Is yours very you? Or do you not know much know, about really. it? Gemini. Gemini. Well, you're not some, a twin, say, are you? Some say two-faced. They, they do say it's it's double character, don't they? Mm. Yeah. Is that the first one? This is very narrow. <laughs> <laughs> 